I'm Don Gay, back with a look at the crashes and smashes from another year at Mesquite Championship Rodeo. Now I've got wrecks from bareback and saddle bronc riding, steer wrestling, and two sections of bull riding wrecks. From the first rodeo to the last, it was a rough summer at Mesquite, so I have more than a few spills and thrills to show you. Now we'll start off with bull riding, where we always have some spectacular crashes. Sean Ramirez has drawn Intrepid, last man with a chance to beat 75 points. Well, he can do it. This is a really good bull. This bull hasn't been ridden here this year. This boy can ride. It's a good draw, round to the right. Uh-oh, he'll get you too. Get up, Sean. Boom. Pretty good little rodeo bull right yes. there. No score for Sean. All right. I believe this is a bounty bull now. You can see why. Hmm. No Guzman is on Mustafa. This could be good. I really like this little little bitty guy, and he tries hard. Bull coming around the left. Come on, no, sit still. No, don't go in the well. No, get Dad, get burn it. Boom. He just gave the money away. He just got too excited. This little kid's going to be all right. No Guzman. You remember that name, because he's going to win some money. This kid's got. He had her going he, he's on this got one, it. He, Well, you can watch. This bull skins her back. And he's loose. Well, he's afraid he's late, so he jumps over in there, and he just can't stop it. Mm -hmm. He's going to win a lot of money. That's a good bull, good bull rider. One more look at it. Get a little love tap from Mustafa. Right here. Kaboom. Mm. Didn't hurt a bit. Well, when he got that TV smile, as if he can ride. Absolutely, yeah. He's on Blue Rocker. <laughs> All right. Stay With there, a name sticky. like that, he ought to make the whistle. Sticky, Megaston, Sticky. Ooh, he used two hands already. Dad Gummy rides pretty good, too. Yeah. He's getting in trouble. Now he's used two hands again, but that's good. Safety lift. Wow, get up and get out of there. Woo. I'm going to tell you. He's got some try in him, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, wow. You, you want to think, OK, is this guy just talking or what? Blue Rocker, Red Rocker cast. He's growing up. It's a, a good try. No score. Now, he's going to slap him right quick, I think. Yeah. Boom, right there. Now he's making a good ride. This bull is bucking, and then boom, Ooh. jerked him down and whipped him down again. But I'm going to tell you, he knows what he's doing. This is Tim Better. The bull is Ironside. Good little bull right here. Bought this bull at the Buck and Bull sale in Texarkana. And Gene Owens, former bull rider that we've seen on the Mesquite Rodeo Show. Tim Metter, quit bull riding for five or six years, started back. All right, this is a good draw, Timmy. You didn't even try. Now you're going to pay for it. You better get out from there. Kenny Pettit, Jimmy Anderson does a good job. Boy, I don't like to see that. You watch the replay and let him watch it. Watch his head when this bull turns back to the left. Look at him. Look, he's trying to get off right there. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you don't try. I mean, he's lucky he didn't get stepped on yeah. or get the bullfighters hooked. That's too bad. Tim Matter knows better than that. Plus, he could have won some money on that bull. Yeah. Good job bullfighting Kenny Patty. Look at there. Young guy. Quick team round. Looking at Rafael Mosqueda. Ralphie, he's on Bad Ripple. Well, y'all heard me talk enough about this bull. He's been bucking pretty good, though. But he does hop and skip. Look at Ralph. He was Looking. back to his old self. He looked off the ground. Yep. Ralphie, that's bad. He looked right on the ground, and that's where Rafael ended up. No score. All right, now. Just jerked him right there and look at him. And that bull was fixing to turn back and give him a chance to go to the pay window. And I know Ralph has been riding really good yes. this year. See, he's ready to get off because he, he, he's heard everybody talk about this bull and he didn't give him a chance. All right, he'll drop you down in the well. You got to be careful. He's spurring, trying to stay out, going to go down again. He's hung in the bull rope, Whoa. hit hard. Whoa, boy, howdy. He's up, but I'm going to tell you, he doesn't have any air. Hit him right in the belly. Did. He's trying to get he some. He got to the fence. 
Okay. Now, when you look out like that, it puts your butt down in the well, fellas, if you want to know how come he went down in there. He was trying. Hits him hard, and that bull just rares over the top of him. He's really pretty lucky. Yeah, he is, Donnie. Watch, Watch these this. front feet. Now, he does right, but you need to stand up. Keep your feet. Oh. <laughs> Heath Gulledge is on his back. Heath from Ennis, Texas. Going to spin into his hand. Now, Heath, I haven't seen you ride before, but keep your back straight and get a hold of your feet. Going to turn back into your hand. Oh, whip down. Get your hand out of there now. Turn it over. Jimmy Anderson moving in. Look at Anderson. Taking a shot in the back. Got it loose. Kenny Pettit picks the bull up. Good teamwork. Ooh. Good teamwork. Chili Dog was hot tonight. No score for Heath. Good work by the bullfight. All right, he's got to sit up. Had his toes turned out. Didn't have his knee pressure against him, and his feet just came out. You got to get on your feet. Jimmy Anderson right in there working hard. Kenny Pettit whipped him down. There's Jimmy trying to get around the corner, and he says, okay, I'm coming in. Now watch this. Right inside. He's hitting the back with a horn. He's looking down at Daniel Phillips on the Exorcist. All right, Exorcist came with Dakota when my dad bought those two bulls. Good bull. Come on, Daniel. Whoa, whip down hard. Hung the bull rope. Get on your feet. Oh, man. Ouch. Boy. Did that hurt you as much as it did me? I'm telling you. Is there a lot to be said for youth? He bounced right up from that. Oh, Daniel man. Phillips starting to hit him now, I think. Okay, I whipped away from his hand, jerked down. Now, okay, Kenny Pettit, Barry Hankins coming in there trying to help, but stepped right on his hip with his leg folded. Now, I want to tell you, he's lucky. Get another angle here, and I believe we're going to be able to see it. Watch this. Oh, oh man. Gosh. David Corbell is up next. He has drawn the Road Warrior. All right. Here's Jim Gay in the background. Let's go, he said. Here we go. Road Warrior turns back. His bull used to just go to the other end. Whoop. I mean to tell you. Look at the clown stabbers on that one. Road Warrior. Just one slight little toss of the head sent David flying, didn't it? No score. All right. Road Warrior. Bull used to just lope around. He's going down in the well. That's got to be pretty scary. And then look at here. Boom. And if he doesn't get up, he's going to do it again. Kenny Pettit, he's coming. He knows he's going down in the well. The bull never even, never even acknowledged no. Kenny. Jimmy right there. Here comes Greg Harris on Chili Dog. Oh, that's a good little old bull right here. Come on, Greg. Oh, no. Oh, you better get Whoa. my boy. Look at how run God. the lead. Of him. I mean, how about some mustard, honey? I was going to say, I had his <laughs> bun right there <laughs> for the old chili dog. All right. Greg you know, that Harris. little bull's got some power, Donnie. He yeah. turned that second corner and blew him out of there. Bought him from Jack Ratchet. People at Mansfield, Texas, the Cowbell Rodeo. Our producer, Ken Vincent's old hometown of Mansfield, Texas, and my wife. I might add, blowout. Now, this is yeah. pretty scary, let me tell you. It doesn't get stepped on, just run over, just good entertainment. Get you another look. Let's get another look. Watch his hand. Pow! When you rear back, get your head up. Yeah. And then, I mean, he talked about a little shot in the shorts right there. Brian Heming Hemmingson, excuse me, Kerrville, Texas. He's got the bounty bull, sport. Bear down now. Jump kick round to the left. Oh, man. Oh! Ouch. You better get up. Brian, there would have been a, never a better chance to win about $9,000 on the Bounty Bull Sport. Can't believe it. He said, that bull just not that rank. He's sitting right up. Now watch him bow forward. There's no reason for that. Mark Varig, and he is on Machine Head. All right, another youngster works for Dad at the ranch turned him out because he's pretty mean. Mark doesn't turn anything out. Let me on here. Whoa, watch the dummy, Mark. Wow, oh, Slammy. Boys, he is knocked out, and that's machine head. Look out. Whoa. Oh, man, you got to go to that bull's head, boys. 
Look, Look at, at those bullfighters. Look at those bullfighters. Ray Wiley. Wow. All right, here they go. Got him. They got to go to the board. John Patterson. Oh, he missed him. Two misses. All right. Boy, Justin, Justin Healer. Justin Healer, guys. Getting, getting tagged. tagged. All right, here we go, boys. It's dangerous out here. Guy Yarbrough coming back with that rope. Got him. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Broke him, drug him out. Mark's knocked out. Justin Healer's hooked in the butt. Let's it see. It was tough. I'll tell you, Donnie, I'm everybody you, went into action bet, immediately. Hey. Amazing. I mean, that's what you do. Just you just amazing. go cowboy up. You know, Mark's in, you know, he's trying to ride. This guy's going to be able to do it. How'd I boy, Mark? And then, boom, you see that? Don't think that didn't hurt. Oh. I mean, he slammed, knocked out. Bullfighters right there. Boom, now watch. Oh. Both bullfighters coming. Ray Wiley goes to the bull's head, and they know Kenny Pettit staying with the man. As you can see, bull riders are like ice skaters in summer, always on thin ice. And speaking of skating on thin ice, our next section features bull riders' alter egos, the bullfighters. Doug Height on Kid Chalene. Kid Chalene. Kid Chalene, yeah. Don't you remember that movie? Okay, he's the boxer. All right, good little bull ride here. Uh-oh, get up now. He'll horn in on your business. All right, Cowboy Doug Height. Up. Kenny Watch Pettit out, Kenny. Now, if you run up there and grab this bull by the tail, you can get a kick out of it, I guarantee you. They're going to play with this one a little bit. Kid Shalane can be really, really fun to watch. Kenny Pettit, Ray Wiley. Neil Gage out there going, come on, guys. Oh, Kenny. <laughs> oh, I told you, look, Ray oh, Wiley saved the bullfighter. Good move. I think he stepped all over him, too, Donnie. Wow. <laughs> all right, everybody's limping, Doug. <laughs> all right, slam down. Ray Wiley makes a good save there. There's Bonnie Parker on Machine Head. Not one you just brave drawing. He's a little mean, makes a left turn. You notice Monty's not wearing his shafts. That's because you can run faster. Machine Head's a little spooky. Oh, Kenny Pettit, look out. He like got a shot in the shorts. A little close for Mr. Pettit. Chris Gott, and he has Mirage. But it doesn't get any easier. This no. bull here is really hard to ride. He kind of, he doesn't kick much, moves ahead, spins to the left, and watch him run him back off his rope and then drop him down in the well. That's the trademark. Todd Bowman saves him. He even takes a little shot. That was a great save, it and Todd was. knows it. He nice just moved move. in perfectly. That cowboy, he owes one yes. chicken fried steak dinner to old Skid Bowman. Now, this bull is just hard to ride. See him, he just kind of moves ahead, sets him up, and is going to get him. Todd Bowman comes in. That's what a bullfighter is supposed to do. Bill Williams on Machine Head. Now, this bull here is fun. As long as you're in the grandstands or the TV booth. <laughs> Watch this one. I mean, he's got a Cadillac out through there and then come around, knocks over Frank, hits the dummy. Watch out. It's Use your Bill. feet now. Look. Oh, the dummy helped them all. Machine Head, he's still not figured that out. You know, I mean, this he's, he's uh, one floor short of getting to the top of the elevator. He can hold his head up. He's a pretty bull. <laughs> Now, which one Let's do I see. want? Look at that hat. Look at that hat. I think that was Kenny Pettit's hat. Hey, the Ooh. barrel hop. Oh, yeah. Said, I got my hiney in and then out. <laughs> Frank, don't raise up right now, don't you know? <laughs> is it over? Wham. Yeah, is it over? <laughs> no score, Bill Williams. All right. Well, he had him. Had him going, and the bull normally spins, but Billy's really kind of lucky because he's back on the end of his arm right there. Yeah, oh my. As you look at Joey Baker, Kissimmee, Florida, and he is on Machine Head. All the way from Florida to get on one of the scariest bulls in the rodeo. Whoa! Well, stay there, Joey. Watch out, here he comes, Machine Head. Look out, you better get up and run. Look at him. I just love this bull, as long as I'm in the booth. <laughs> Giving that old dummy a what for, isn't he? No score for Joey Baker. 
All right, now this is be a little scary. Bull falls down. The rope looked like it slipped over a little bit as he fell down and came back out of there. But man, alley oop. Alley oop. I'll give him an eight on the dismount. <laughs> of course, that's not going to win anything. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Anthony Moore with his chance here, Donnie, with Machine Head. Oh, my, Machine Head already hit Daddy Frank in the barrel. And got things rolling, so to speak. So to speak. <laughs> yeah. It's a load to roll around there, isn't it? All right, the Wrangler Bullfight, you've got to be able to fight for 70 seconds nonstop. Get as close as you can, but don't get run over. That's pretty close. <laughs> Anthony Moore, tempting fate. Here's Kenny Pettit. The bull is Viper. Okay, Viper's trying to lull him to sleep right here. Close. Turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get, get a little closer. Okay. Now, you know what the bull's trying to do. And here we go. What did we say? <laughs> Take it away, Leon. Okay, Kenny Pettit, he's coming back for more, but I bet he's a little more careful. Let's go to Greg Rumor and Scorpion. Okay, now, Greg Rumor, national finals bullfight. Watch out, Daddy Frank, the Viper. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, hey, this bull, Daddy Frank, deodorant next time. <laughs> wow. Look at Greg Rumor, national finals bullfighter, runner up to the championship of the world. This guy can do it. Watch him do the step through. Oh, pretty young bull right here. Now, this bull has never had a guy like Greg Rumor in front of him. Greg goes over to set the barrel up. You're graded by these judges on all of your arena perceptions, skills. Look at that, the bull nearly fell down. Greg Rumor, nice move there. <laughs> now he's having fun. This is what this is this is a real exercise right here. If Greg doesn't bite off more than he can chew. He's trying to slow down. He's wanting to do the walk turn with him. Get his hand on his horns and then walk around and really look cool. Well, you can cross the line, though, you know, Dodgers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa. Take a little turn. Well, yeah, oh. see what I'm talking about? Oh, did you see that? Now, you talk about Caddy. Now, this fella is Caddy. He said, that's enough. I've enjoyed myself. Next up, the bareback riders. Over the years, bareback riding has produced some of the most exciting wrecks on this tape, and last season was no exception. Now, first up is Shane Sanders on a horse named Goldust. Shane Sanders starting off on a horse called Gold Dust. All right, now, this horse here, he worked up a sweat, and he was all ready. Come on, Shane, you got a good ride started. Oh, my, oh, blowout plan. Yeah. You want to be a cowboy? Look at that hat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. What There's a way to start. Out. Feet over the front of the shoulders, the first jump out of the chute. Everything's looking good, throwing caution to the wind, and blue. <laughs> oh, my. Now, watch this. Now, watch this horse kick right, right, right in the back. <laughs> Eli Thompson from Seagullville, Texas. He's on the rabbit. Eli's got his work cut out for him. This is national final fucking horse right here, and he'll take a little run, and I mean we'll jerk on you riding on him. Look at that. Oh, look out. No disgrace to come down off that, and Eli. Woo. Boy, packed his hat on and some hard hitting on the way out here. Well, he's trying to ride. He is. He's pretty good spur out, but I mean, he's just getting jerked every which way but loose. And here comes Craig Cooper on Suzy Q. I love this horse right here. Oh, Suzy Q. Watch her buck. <laughs> Jump and kick. Come on, cowboy. Let's get the money. You're doing good. Oh, no. Blow out. Watch oh, out. Gosh. Boy, every time they go out that back door, Donnie. Woo. No score for Craig. My word. Look at this little mare, Suzy Q. Uh, he Whoa. is so lucky. Isn't he, though? I mean, what brains you have could got scattered right there. Oh, yuck. He just caught right in between kicks, didn't he? Wow. Woo. Looking at Stephen Anding, Kaufman, Texas. Starlight, the name of this horse. Okay, young guy. 
It's uh, starting to get the idea. Now he's he's placed here once this year. Whoa, whoa, get a little bit tighter. You need to get some more drag with those spurs. Oh no, blow oh. out. Right on the keister. Boy, ouch. <laughs> no score for Steven. Ending, what a landing. Poet and don't know it. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Look at here, this horse is bucking and he's trying to ride and it just has that blowout and one one point landing. Watch this. And that even when this is good, this is bad. I mean oh. it wow. <laughs> Here's a bareback rider, Wes Ward on Sorrel Top. Dangerous horse. They've got him tied in a bucking shoot. He'll try to rear around, look at him. got a pretty good start. Come on, whoa, Wes! Boom! Blow out! Horses are bucking tonight. Must be something in the water. Wow. Old West came down a long way before he hit, didn't he? No score, West Ward. Let's watch this, okay. There's a the spur out. There's Splat, he's lucky he didn't get kicked right there. That's pretty wild. But then again, that's West Ward. It happens. I mean, that horse did turn the crank and throwed him off. He could have tagged him, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> this is Brian Rothbell from Fort Hunter, New York, and he is on Atlantis. All right. Brian, hang on. Good little horse ride. Oh, he's in trouble. Watch out! Oh. <laughs> is that where we go? Ker splat! <laughs> wow. Atlantis. John Patterson's lost his hat. Getting gray headed. Well, that's a long drive from New York, Donnie. Well, he, he didn't get the horse spurred out, oh. and, he, and, and it was loose. And then his hand popped. <laughs> Whoa! It'll quit hurting by the time you get back to New York. <laughs> oh. You want to think where it hurts right about? Right oh, there. My. Ouch. Mark Perkins, Odessa, Texas. He is on Indian Nation trying to beat 71 points. Young guy of Mountain West, Texas. This is a real good horse right here. Looked a little suspect. I yeah. see some e dirty laundry, we call it. That's the yellow flag. Wouldn't make no difference, no Ooh. how. No, son, he didn't make it. Isn't it great to be young, though, and hop up from Well, he's the still got, like he's got those, all those wraps and tape and pads. If he's that taped up that young, he better go to bank. Mm. Get him a job there. Didn't get him marked out. Right side Either side, was right yeah. side was down, left side bouncing. And then. He course, was bouncing. He was bouncing. Mm. I can go all the way back to Odessa, Texas. That is 375 miles. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which way did they go? <laughs> They'd had to call a stretcher for me. <laughs> Mark McGuffin looks like he's just about ready on gold dust. It's a tough horse to, to ride. He's really tough to get your rigging on. He'll bite you, scratch you. Mark McGuffin got him close to the vest right here, trying to hang in there, getting a little tight. Yeah, he's, he's double grabbed. He's oh my! Oh, oh NML headbutt right there on the concrete wall. Oh, we need to get another look at this. He's holding that shoulder. I think this horse kicks him. Let's get another look at it, Dan. Gold dust is bucking across the arena. Now this is, this is all part of it. He's, he's riding a double grab right here. Now watch this. Oh boy. Let's go one more right here. Here we go. Here we're going to be able to see the jerk. Now he's come down and I see the horse's right leg. Look, right over his shoulder. There's flat. Oh, man. His name is Jeff Young, the horse's top spot. All right. This is uh, all girls in this event. Not the bareback riders, but the bucking horses. Ladies night out, top spot, national finals bucking horse. Spur out in the bareback riding. Look out, cowboy. Get, oh, my. Boy, oh, he blowed him out of his vest. Look, look, both, both. Everything's coming undone. <laughs> Check your britches, cowboy. It could what be worse. What happened? Whips him down, out over that rigging, and <laughs> wow, Bola. Got a face full of flank, didn't he? Okay. That's not fun. Woo. Here he is on Ripcore. It's a good draw. You know, he could win this go round. Bucked off his first horse, had a blowout. All right, come on, Robbie. He got down a little bit. Come on, Robbie. Come on. A little bit behind. He's trying. He's trying. Good. Oh, oh. No, man. Crash. Oh. oh, man. Right into the fence. Gosh, he hit hard. Robbie Vaccaro 
Looked and like right in the small of the back. Just, Donnie. just, yeah, I mean, just crammed into that fence. Judges say no. I think he hit him with his free hand. Oh. But if he can, he'll get up. We've seen him take a lot of wrecks a lot of times. Ripcord really had a good, good trip. There's where he slapped the horse with his free hand right there, boom. Uh, and that's a solid concrete wall, and he hit it right with the small of his back, right in the kidneys. Boom, can't tell where his head went. His hat was still on, it's a good thing. Yeah. Brad Adams up next, he is on Wolf, trying to beat 72 points. Caledonia, Ontario, Canada. All right, look, whoa! <laughs> yeah, we could, we could be the barbershop quartet. Well, that was just about <laughs> Mark, really, really. Okay. Well. Airborne. No out. score for Brad. Well, wow. I love this because he got up. <laughs> okay. A little weak on the spur out. Let's go with it. Puts all the pressure on the hand and watch this. Boom. See that horse's back Whoa. feet? Kaboom. Boy. Oh, yeah. Now watch this. Okay. Now here comes the blowout. See, did you see the hooves right oh, below the head? Oh, my. That's what you do if you're Jay Oklahoma and hadn't been here. This is a really a nice horse. Get a good spur out. Take a little run. Jump, kick. Come on, move them spurs. Whoa, another blowout from Jay Oklahoma. Wow, man, they got to get the grease off that rigging. Well, I'm going to tell you. I mean, both of them, Jay, Oklahoma, and both of them nearly get packed out of here. He's leaning back, he's laying on that rig, and he's not worried about seeing where he's going. Look at that. Oh. He didn't have a vest on. Wow. He's completely out of control. Watch this. Boom. All right, this is the new coat. Come on now, Vidal. Good start. Oh, blowout. Wow. wow. Boom, bam. Well, by now, you started a good one. Spur out, look pretty good. Jump and kick, watch the hand, pow! Let's get an eight on the dismount. Little starlight, good little mare, jump, kicked, and I mean curse, flat. <laughs> Charlie Coble getting set on Indian Nation. All right, it's a good draw right here. I need to ask Charlie if he's any kin to a guy named Jerry Coble. He used to ride bareback horses. Let's see, Jay Oklahoma Cowboy. Coming around the left, did pretty good shape. Come on, keep charging. Little, oh, hand, oh, oh man, right on his head, he's knocked out of you. Oh, my. Woo. Well, moving his legs, good sign. Boy, did he hit hard. There's a mark out. A little bit soft and just a little behind. Watch his hand pop out here. You see, he doesn't get rolled over. Man, that, he could have broke his neck. Boy. All right. Boom. Got to get on over. Doesn't happen. Well, from bareback riding, we'll turn to the other horse riding event, saddle bronc. Now, saddle bronc riding is supposed to be controlled and graceful, rodeo's classic event. Now, these particular efforts, however, lack both control and grace, but they are classic. Good saddle bronc right here. Come on, Dane. Oh, oh, boy. Man, I like that hurt me. <laughs> bronc riding is the easiest event on your body after you learn how to do it, but right there, you can, you're you going to do that a certain amount of times. Whoa. Obviously got the wind knocked out of him. James Miller, let's take another look. All of this atmosphere and this heat, he can't get any of it. Ooch. Wow, oh, see your feet hanging ball, after yeah. just enough, and it gives you that, uh, you know, pop goes the weasel kind of deal. Right here, now watch this. His foot kind of hangs and go, wow. Oh. Jason Milam, Winnemucca, 76 to score to beat. He could do it. This is a guy that I figured probably went first. This is a good bronc right here. That a boy Jason riding, oh yeah, a little sidestepping going on. Jason, oh no! Wow! Bucked him off, he blew a stirrup. Blew a stirrup, blew that left stirrup. 
and threw him off. Well, we haven't seen that, uh, I don't believe, all year from Jason. But he sure did. That stirrup came off, and he went flying. The horse has a kind of an unorthodox bucking style. And right here, watch the left foot. Yep. It just popped out of that stirrup and sent him flying. Mm. Here, we're going to get right here. Look to the left side. That stirrup popped off of there and the bluey. Wow. Puts his head way down there, Joe. This horse is not really real smooth. He comes around to the right, and we buck him in the bareback riding and the saddle bronc riding, but he's pretty choppy. Joe Belkin, he's a veteran bronc rider. He should be able to get it. Whoa! Wow! Man! Yeah, I'd say he puts his head down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, ever ready? Joe's looking for a breath of fresh air, isn't he? He hit hard. Okay, watch this. Watch that horse. Down his head, just bang. Ooh. Ooch. Ouch, you want to be a cowboy. I wonder what Joe will tell the next guy that asks him about Ever Ready. There it goes. Now watch that. Ooh, bang. Jump and kick. <laughs> Here's Dale Bussy on lots of wampum. Oh, what? Uh oh, take a little run. Oh, look out, Dale. <laughs> what did he hang up on? Did that? I don't know what he. Did I it get know. under his arm? Did it Some, look like? Something did. I mean, it looked like catching that big fish. <laughs> Got pulled along for a few extra feet there, Dale. No score for Dale Bussey. All right, now, now this horse, this is called taking a run at you. Boom. Now he's out of there. Oh, the flank yes, strap. Flank he, strap. Look at the flank strap. It's on his arm. Whoa. My. I'm going to tell you. Roll your own. National Finals bucking horse, Tim Garner. Best score last year was 60 points, and uh, he's going to have trouble staying in the buggy here. This is a bucking horse. Good spur out. Little run at him. Come on, Tim. Atta boy. Now he's got to move it. Come on, Tim. Look at him. There oh, no. Go. He's a little tall in the saddle. Oh, no. My oh, oh, boy. Howdy. Gosh. Well, I'm going to tell you, he was going to best the score from his best score last year, but watch him walk. Oh. The lights are on, and ain't nobody home, I believe. Boy, does he Watch get this. On this. I mean, this mare, the further she goes, the better she bucks. And she's bucking right there now. It's a little tall in the saddle. It blows the oh, stirrup. Goodness. Boy, how did everything from the waist down got to hurt right there. Woo. And then rung his bell. Yeah, that's worth another look. Ooh. Now watch this. Ouch. Boom. Zap. Oh. Flop. I she mean, went by fire, didn't she, too? Woo. What a way to start out this event. Princeton, Texas. This is a good draw right here. Come on now. Move your feet, cowboy. One of the, oh, he stood him up. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Boy, walked all around him, didn't he? No wonder he wears a vest in the bronc ride. Wow. All right, now. You have got to move your feet. He's just locked down, finally stands him up. Oh. And don't think he's not a little bit lucky. Watch this. You know, about 1,200 pounds, because splat. Well, you don't have to worry much about try me, Wesley. Athens, Georgia. All right, University of Georgia, try me. The bucking horse, you got to move your spurs. He's lost the stirrup. He's in trouble and down early. Young man, Wes Stansell. All right, long walk back to the chutes and a long drive back Good to mark up. Had, had him up there, but now see the left foot is just stuck. Yep. Now, horse turns back, and if you're not moving your feet and not in time, you're not going to strain and ride a bucking horse. You've got to be able to move your feet, but I'm going to tell you, uh, it's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Dale Busey is on toll free. All right, 1-800 calls for some help. This horse can really be hard to ride. Come on, Dale. Whoa! Ooh. Hello, time. You know, you could see that coming, Donnie, <laughs> when he was coming around the corner. Dale kind of looking at the ground there and uh, ended up there. Well, you just don't you, you don't see Bronc Rider get bucked up. And I see his head right there. Yep. He's just kind of looking out there. Nice little get off. Good spur out. 
They see him hump to that rain, didn't keep the slack out of it, stands him in the stirrup, and just bucked him off. Kevin Gursky, he has drawn Winnemucca. Good saddle bronc right here. Jacksboro, Texas. Kevin Gursky, he's gonna take a little run at you and then he's gonna break. Hang on, Kevin. Oh, he lost. Losing the stirrup, losing the saddle, lost the boot. I mean, that's what you call a blowout. The bronc ride. Just parts, his parts started falling off there as Kevin was heading across Church the tour. arena. Shirt store, shirt store. I'm telling you, I don't know what's all coming loose here. But that's when you start getting a little tall in the saddle. I mean to tell you. Just that whole right stirrup just falls I think maybe off. his whole stirrup breaks off. Yeah, it does. Yeah, look at there. Well, good. All right, Jason, Alvin, Texas. That's where Nolan Ryan lives. Come on, decent to good old Ron. Got our boy, Jason. Come on, Jason. Good now. <laughs> hey, was that good or what? Yes, sir. He's watching over you. That was a nice lander. Right over the dashboard, no score for Jason Crawford. Him and Herman Brune been going to the same hairstylist, mustache do man. He got behind. I mean, hey, that's a 10 for the dismount. Watch this. All the way over, a little tuck, right here, tuck. Boom, good. <laughs> really good to ride, you know, but. She, she, she'll kind of stall a little bit in the bucket chute and want to stand there a little bit, and then she'll jump and kick. Now, watch this. Just jump and kick. Come on, O'Donnell. Oh, oh, my. Whoa, wow. Oh my wow, God. right on the head. I guarantee you, Donald, you don't know what happened to you. Go ahead and get up. You don't know how close you came on the kick Doesn't up. Doesn't have any idea. Oh. Let's get another look at this. Now, she stalls. You wave the spur out rule there. That looks good. Now, sit up. All right, now, he bucks off. Now, watch this. Whoa. Oh, please. Right down his back, back of his neck. Get you another look at this. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Sing that this song. This is how come. Whack. <laughs> I mean, you can sure consider a nine to five job. This is Joseph Rodriguez from Conroe, Texas. Ever ready. Pretty froggy little bronc right here. Puts his head way down and, and it's tough to ride. He's not real big, but kind of kind of like me, he's a little chunky. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> he like throwed him plumb to Houston. I mean, he can't get his air. He has Woo! lost his wind out there. Watch this again. Wow. I'll tell you what. One more look at this. This will make the wreck tape, I assure you, for 96. Well, we've seen bulls and horses throwing guys all over the arena. And it's time to show you some miscues and mishaps involving rodeo's big guys, the steer wrestlers. Now, when they hit the ground, the building shakes, and last season, we were all shook up. Next cowboy comes from Breckenridge, Colorado, Tad Perry. All right, working behind the barrier. Get there, don't lean forward. Oh. Pocket full of dirt. Take back to Colorado. <laughs> That was a combination of things there, wasn't it, Donnie? He, well, he's, he, you see him, he's leaning forward trying to help right. his horse holding on the saddle arm, but you can't be leaning forward. You start it down too late and you're splat. One last swing and a miss right there. Well, let's move to Brian Bowerly from Austin, Texas. All right, Brian, second generation cowboy. Daddy Leon probably hazing for him. Keep the steer running straight, working behind the barrier. Quick catch. Kind of. Brian. No, another no time. Starting out, sing that song, another one bites the dust. Okay. Reach out, he just started down too late. Steer kind of shut it off. He should be starting down right there. He's already one whole stride late. Hits right at the horns instead of the hips of that steer. That's a rookie mistake. Here's Roy Berger, Cat Springs, Texas. Veteran steer wrestler catching up in a hurry. Steer widens out. Oh, oh my, <laughs> Roy. All right, getting a little long in the tooth for that now. Well, he'll be laughing. Yeah, yeah, he's grinning. Thing, I can't believe I did that. Let's watch his back, man. Horse starts to widen out across here, and he does the cat spring slide. <laughs> Look here. Oh my. Gary Carnes up next. 
from Red Oak, Texas. All right, another guy that lived right here close. Big steer wrestler look, you know, big shirt, mustache. Long run, reach out. One point slide. See where that point was. Exactly. No time for Gary. This is a bit rough on you when you miss. Makes man. him old for three. Yeah, there, there's not a whole lot of forgiveness. He reaches out there and his horse just widened out on him and he just didn't want quite get up there. I mean, he was late from the word go. Brad Huffstutler, he's from Huntsville, Texas. All right, now he's been 6-1 here before. Knows how, to, knows how to do it. Got a hazer, gonna keep that steer running straight. You make the transition. Slide down. Whoa! Whoa! Brad said, how did that happen? Look at that steer, he's going back here going, hey guys, did y'all see what I did to my guy? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can start down about the hips. And he waited way too late yes. also. Yes. Another look at it, he should have already been down. Brad Lesh. All right, you saw the judge pulling a barrier across in front of Brad. Seven and two has been his best time so far. Needs to speed that up. Got a hazer help keep the steer running straight in line. Make the transition. Horses trained to go right on by. He drops the reins right about there. Starts down a little late. He did. And, uh, you know, good slide if you're going to second base. No time for Brad. As you say, Donnie, a little late. Needs to be starting down right there. Steer just kind of set just a little, but not much. Give us another look at it. He needs to be starting down right at the hips, right there. Here's Rick Bradley. Burke Burnett, Texas, 1974, champion of the world in the steer wrestling. All right, steer cutting left on him. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, he hit hard. Oh. Burn. I bet he's not grinning when he gets up. Man, Ooh. that steer's going, man, I've done that to a world champion. Dusting off, he's looking tough. I bet there ain't nobody laughing up front, neither. Man. Let's watch this again. Let's check this out. All right, all the guys are in the box there and saying, all right, here's the champ of the world. This guy can heat it. Boom, man, they're all going back there. They're going, man, it must have been, been easy in 1974. <laughs> no, not really. Watch this. I mean, wow, hola. Here's young Kelly Doster from Granbury, Texas. All right, a youngster. And he's making a face trying to catch up. Oh, look at that steer. <laughs> <laughs> the steer, he's not going anywhere there to drive him off. All right, one more look. He just starts down late, I believe, and doesn't make it work. Here we go. There's the barrier. Jeff Vance from Irving, Texas, trying to beat six and three. All right. It's a big boy right here. Concentrating, isn't he? Got him one of them haircuts. All right, coming around, look out. Oh, no, Whoa. watch out. Holy smoke. Gosh. Heart's down, hazer down. That's why it's dangerous. All right. Wow. Well, Cowboy's trying to figure out if he's still all there or not. Horse rolled all the way over him. What a wreck. Now you, I'm looking for the, there's the horse right there. He's up and all right. They got the horse down there. Now they check on the cow. They got the horse first. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you a little something about the way they care for the livestock. Now they go check and see if the cowboy's still going to make it. Let's get another look. Watch this steer bend right. Trips that horse over. Watch. Oh, slams him down. Man. Horse up and over. You heard me say the steer wrestling is dangerous or more so than the bulldogging. That's why right there. No warning whatsoever. Okay, I promised you another section of bull riding wrecks, and now's the time. Our first cowboy here is named appropriately, J.W. Hitt. Now, J.W., he drew a bull named Chili Dog, but I think he would have probably settled for a soup and salad. Moving now to J.W. Hitt from Belton, Texas. Call this bull Chili Dog. That's a good little draw right here. Bull jump out there and spin either way. Likes the left. Sit up, J.W., right there. Oh, my. Whoa. In a little trouble. Now, he'll play touch with you. You better come loose. Oh. You're talking about lucky. Yes. <laughs> Look, chill dog. He said, I didn't mean to hurt him. He said, I don't feel so lucky, but boy, he was. Now, now there's, he was. That, there's, that, there's why those vests are really pretty nice. 
down in there. Now, he's okay right there, but now right here, boom, he takes a good shot to yes, the ribs right there. Chad Burgess, Irving, Texas. Uncle Fester, the bull. This bull has not been ridden in two years. Watch him spin to the left here. Little old bitty black muley. No horns, turned around. Just gonna turn around left. That cowboy's in trouble. I mean, unbelievable. Uncle Fester. Remember the guy on the Adams family? Absolutely. <laughs> Looks just like the old him. light bulb in his mouth. <laughs> Runs him off that rope in a hurry, doesn't he? Jody Stone, the last man up in the first section. He's drawn Mad Dog. All right, been raining cowboys in the first section. Bulls are having their way with him. This in here kind of tough to ride. Slow that free hand down, cowboy. Just... Whoa. Look at his hat. You can't see nothing. No score for Jody Stone. Well, Mark DeVore saying, you okay, kid? Okay. Bull's kind of hopping and skipping, and he's whipping that free hand. If he'd have just held it steady, he'd have had a chance. Just kind of a, kind of drove his head in the ground right there. Here's another look at it. Hit the fence. That didn't hurt him. That right there did. Ground's hard right in front of those bucket tubes. Barton Day on Ned Pepper. All right, just kind of a handful to ride. Barton Day from Garland, he's right here locally. He's, uh, he's seen the bull and his feet are out. Oh, get up, Barton. You oh, better hurry, Barton, boy. he'll come again. Barry Hankins and Kenny Pettit doing what they do. You know, that was a strange thing, Donnie. The whole thing looked in slow motion, didn't now that it? Bull, that bull buck's kind of slow, but he's yeah. got a lot of power. Actually, it makes him harder to ride if he would go a little faster. He's just glad to try to survive that one. You know, I hate to see guys enter that, that, that really don't intend to make the whistle. And, and you know, because, I mean, it's just too dangerous to That's play. This dangerous. is not a hobby. Like got stepped on right on the head. The oldest active bull rider going, I think, right now. They're looking at Ty Schaefer, Donnie, and he is on sunlight. All right, big stat. Whoa, oh, my, curse flat. Man. Popped him right upside the head, those horns. Kind of came down to meet him, sunlight. Bucked another down there to the Hawkeye, Monty Henson. He's checking him out, see if he's sprung a leak or lost any teeth. Up in the Justin Healer, Monty Henson, he, he, he knows that feeling. Let's watch this. Ty gets reared back a little, boom, that bull Ooh, just comes around yeah. and, I mean, they, they butted heads. Ty Schaefer. He's got a hard him. head, Donnie. Yeah. I'm amazed he popped up after that. Right. Just, just didn't quite get all of it. That's close enough. Jonas Struthers from Pratt, Kansas on Crossroads 2. A good little bull right here. Turns back to the left, right in the gate. Second generation bull. Cowboy's getting out there, says, let's go. Let's see if he can make the turn. No way, got around there, free hand back and puts him down. You could tell Donnie nice he was behind. No score, Jonas Struthers. Okay, now, watch your back. See the free hand, yep. all the way around. Boy. Here's Darren Robertson on Tomahawk. This is another little bull we bought from the Mansfield Cowbell Arena. Good draw right here. He'll turn back left. Come on, cowboy. Oh, my. Get up and get out of there. Crawl. Oh, keep me. You better keep rolling, kid. It'll get worse. Mike Johnson took a shot, and he did, too. Boy. That stepped on. He drug that bull right over. See, so you hit and roll. You don't ever just lay there. Had a good shot. Now, boom, hit. Now keep rolling and crawling. Ooh. He waited. He start, thought about trying to get up, and you saw that last little step. Bull steps right on him. Get you another look at this. Watch now, this bullfighter catch it. So you want to hit and roll. Mike Johnson right there trying to save him. That's about all you need to know, isn't it, Donnie? Well, you know, this bull here can, can really buck, but he's real, real inconsistent. Chris Burke, he just needs to get a hold and ride. This bull bucks hard no matter what he does. Starting around to the right, and Chris is, oh, Ooh. man, kicked him right in the bowhine. Sure Whip did. High. Look at that bull, four white socks on him. Crazy Willie disposes of Chris Burke. Don't you look at Chris Burke's head. He looks off and doesn't give it 100%. Right there, he's looking off. Whew. They pay you for that right there. 
He's whipping that arm around, turns his butt in there, and gets him in trouble. Hobson, You'll get out there and spin if you ride him far enough, but now you got to look at that bull's head and touch the chin, Mark. Down to the left, whoop. See, that's what happens when your head's up. He's hung in the bull rope. Get on your feet. Stay right there. Keep trying. Stay in tight, Mike Johnson. Kenny Pettit, good job. I'll tell you, old Bad Ripple, that was a good trip. That was a money trip right there if you could have stayed in the buggy. No score for Mark. All right. There's that hop skip. And around to the left, you see his head's up. Whips him down, gets him reared back. He does good right here. He doesn't panic. See him reaching with his right hand, trying to get back up top. Keeps his feet. Yeah. Reach up there. Doesn't do that, Raps. See, his hand is turned over. Trying to get a hold of the wrap. He don't have to. But now he's just pulling, but staying on his feet. They're all looking at Kevin Wiggins on Mustafa. All right. Bozier City, Louisiana, Cowboy. This is going to spin into his hand. I don't like that way up there. See, he's setting back up already. Come on now. Come on. Keep it right, a boy. Up, going down in the well. Mm. Just, oh, my, get up. Whoa, shout. Don't just lay there. He's still wow. not up off the ground. Boy. Boy, Mustafa walked all around him, if not all over the top of him. Well, that's what I say. He, you know, the Cowboys got him rode, and he just stiffens up. Yes. Goes down in the well. All right, now, now he just lays there. Oh. Now, he needs to be getting up and getting out of the road. Down in the hole. Yep. Turn your head around, miss it. Now be crawling. Just go ahead and get crawling. He's stepping on him. Greg Dollins is up next. Kid Shaleen. All right, aren't we having fun yet? Oh, Whoa. don't get your lips out of the way, Craig. Oh, my. They got hit in the nose and he's limping. <laughs> this is getting more Those interesting by the bull. Right. Okay, now watch this. This is up, up, boom. Right on his head, one point landing, and he limps. Now that's the mark of a bull rider. Okay, now you just can't be so stiff. Pete, come out. Oh, get back. Your hand needs to be up there in front of your lips, and then right on his head. This is Jeremiah Wilder from Seagullville. He's on sports. That, and you don't argue with success very much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, young guy right here from Seagullville. This boy. He rides pretty good. This is a real good bull. Now push. Push on your hand. Push on it a little. Whoa. He's knocked uh -oh, out. He is, he is out. knocked out. Look at that. I mean, he did not know that that bull was spinning right wow. there. Oh, my. I'm telling you. Yeah, all right, here he's coming back around. Coming around. Dwayne Cooper, first man out there, bull rider. He knows the feeling. You know, it's a funny thing, Donnie. We've seen it before. When a cowboy's been knocked out, that bull almost looks at him. They're not moving, and the bull takes a pass and moves on. He had him in his sights. Well, if you don't think the man upstairs mm. doesn't know what's going on, you, then you're mistaken, because this boy's knocked out. Watch this. See, you, you got it stepping all around. All around. Hey, tell me they're not somebody pulling the strings. All right, now, feet whipped behind him. Gets down, Boom. bop. Knocked him out right there. Stepped right over him. Snuffs at him. A little dirt on him. Steps right over him. Wow. Sean McAllister on Cowabunga. Well, I kind of picked him. I think he can ride him. He, he's, he's ridden a lot of tough bulls. Cowabunga should go to the left. Uh-oh. He's going to go all the way down the wall. Starts to the left right there. Right to what? Oh, no. In the well. Whoa. Whoa. The Louisiana man. Wow. Look at, Kyle Bunker taking his victory lap and okay, well, I almost started to do it before I bucked my guy off, but I got it done. Look at the people, they think they're going all right. Look at that old dude. I think kind of set him up. Sean McAllister, no score. And I mean, a got his cage rattled. Now, this is real difficult not to, not to lose your concentration. Goes five seconds and then turns back. Gets down in the well, now watch this. He's hung, and then he's not. 
cow bunk and just flings him out of there like a penny piece of bubble gum. Mm. When he decided to make his turn and buck, boy, he put it on. Now watch him move his butt over in there too far. He should sit still. Mm-hmm. Oh, down inside. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's going to wrap up this year's Worst Rex video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, I know you'll want my 1996 Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo. It has my favorite rides from Mesquite last season, plus the It Ain't Over section. They're good rides, but not so good dismounts. Now, this is a great tape, and I know you'll want to see it, and here's how to order. Order Don Gay's 1996 Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo now. It has almost one full hour of rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, Post Office Box 148-400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify 1996 Best Rides. Sorry, no CODs. Now also, there should be an insert with this tape listing all the rodeo videos that I have available. If not, just send a stamped, self-addressed envelope to Rodeo Videos, P.O. Box 148400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214, and I'll send you one. Thanks again for ordering this tape, and if you ever find yourself in the Dallas area, come by and see us at Mesquite and watch a rodeo in person. And happy trails, partner. <laughs>